Uh, hi, my name is Darko. Uh, I'm a part of a UF Pro team, and uh, this year it's first year that we're exhibiting in the Shot Show. Very, very excited to be here. Uh, we saw uh, tons of uh, exciting and new things, and uh, a couple of those things are our products. And uh, today I would just like to briefly take you through our range uh, so you have kind of like a vague idea of what we offer. First thing, as you will see here, is our striker range. This is more uh, of our uh, combat-oriented range. You will see a lot of features that stand out. This is something that you will see for the first, uh, that's uh, shown here for the first time. Our multicam black uh, ultralight pants with our uh, signature waist flex system. Uh, moving on is our striker HT combat pants with abundance of ventilation, uh, our 3D knee protection system. HT stands for high temperature. That's what they're designed for. And uh, moving along is our Striker X range, which is more uh, oriented towards uh, the military hot, uh, side of the house, focusing actually more on uh, repairability on the, in the field and durability. As you can see, slightly different uh, pocket configurations as they fit the military. This is our P40 range, starting off with a P40 urban pants. As you can see them here, uh, they're made to be more uh, covert, so they don't stand out in the crowd, but they still retain a couple of uh, tactical features, uh, like uh, the pockets on your upper thighs. Uh, knee protection is still here. You just insert it from the inside, the safety pockets, and uh, a lot of other goodies. Moving along is uh, our P40 Classics, as the name says, our classic model in the P40 range. There's actually not a use that you cannot use these pants for from uh, going to the store or the range or conducting uh, patrolling uh, as a police officer. Still need protection, a little bit different cargo pockets, higher waistline, very, very good. and. Uh, Last but not least from our uh, P40 line with all the way pants are as uh, P40 all terrains, which are made for more rugged activities. They're reinforced in the knees with the uh, Cordura. And you have Cordura also on uh, places that we feel that are get abraced uh, a bit more. So your belt loops, uh, your instep, utility pockets, stuff like that. You uh, still have the knee protection. As all of them, the, uh, the zipper still doubles, doubles up as a ventilation opening. Uh, and you have a nice feature that's called the boot hook. It's down here, you clip it up, and the pants will stay where they're supposed to. Our shorts, uh, they still belong to the P40 range, but they're, uh, this is our shorts, very lightweight material, uh, very comfortable, uh, incorporating all the features of the uh, big boys. Uh, so they have uh, stretch panels in the back, uh, ventilation openings on the side, waist flex system uh, with integrated uh, underbelt. They're really, really nice uh, to have. Now let me take you to our uh, couple of new items, uh, our jackets. So let's start here. This is our new Delta Eagle Gen 3 soft shell jacket. The face fabric is uh, water repellent uh, and uh, windproof. I can't say it's uh, waterproof because the seams on the inside are not laminated, but this will keep you uh, dry for quite some time in, uh, uh, in the rain. Ventilation options with the zipper that comes all the way down. You actually have two sliders here. The one goes up and you can uh, put the bungee, uh, let's say, over your holster and you can access your weapon. Uh, you have the integrated uh, Velcro on it pen holder or a chem light holder depends on uh, what your preference is and i gotta point out uh, probably the last thing that i'm gonna do here so there's a hood the, the hood is fully laminated as you can see so it's waterproof and windproof what the good thing in here is you get uh, our signature hood harness system a uh, winter combat shirt, so this is generation two, a new product, is specifically made as a combat shirt, but to be worn in the winter. So plate carriers or your body armor is intended to go over it. 
all the parts of your body that are uh, exposed to the elements when you're wearing body armor. So your uh, arms uh, and your shoulders are insulated with uh, G-loft uh, insulation. Uh, the torso part and the back uh, is, it has fleece inside, as you can see, for your comfort. In the shoulders, you have air packs, very similar product. Our Ace Plus uh, Generation 3 uh, winter jacket. Design or the logic behind it is very much similar to the Ace Winter Combat shirt. So this jacket was specifically designed to be worn with body armor. Uh, and as the combat shirt, the extremities are G-loft insulated. So that means your arms and your shoulders. And on the inside where, where your uh, body armor comes, there's a fleece to keep you warm. Here you have a fully laminated hood. Again, with the hood harness, which is a very nice uh, addition to it. Of course, the material, as with all our jackets, uh, or most of our jackets, if it's not a rain jacket, is uh, water repellent, windproof. And that's it, the, these are our new jackets. We'll come to the jackets and jacket systems uh, on a little bit later. Here, what you can see is our FR uniform with the uh, Pyro Shell technology. It's really lightweight, uh, performs very well. Uh, quite a lot of units, uh, especially in the law enforcement in Europe, uh, use this, uh, this system. And here you can see our um, uh, Striker X, uh, the whole line with the combat shirts, with our lizard skin material and a slightly different configuration of uh, uh, ripstop material. Probably the standout feature is that uh, there's no zipper here on the combat shirt, but we used Velcro. The logic behind this is to prevent any secondary blast injuries from happening uh, when you have a zipper and a chance when you get hit that it explodes on the backside and causes any or injuries. This is something that we already seen, but it was in multi-cam black, if you guys remember. This is our Striker ULT combat pants. The ULT stands for ultralight. It's like our extreme material. Abundance of ventilation openings and ventilation uh, options. Knee protection, uh, which is the same across our uh, pants range. And of course, our standout uh, waist flex system feature with an integrated underbelt, which is fully functional, by the way. Uh, really good in uh, high temperature and high humidity areas. So our Striker XT Gen 3 uh, range, which is comprised of a combat shirt and our new combat pants. Let's stay with the combat shirt first. The torso material is uh, totally new, uh, very lightweight. Uh, it will keep you dry, it dries really fast. What is unique about this is on the sides, as I can show you on here, on your pelvic area, you have a small amount of padding just to additionally provide that extra protection uh, from any abrasion of your pelvic area. When you're wearing a heavy duty belt uh, or a body armor that's a little bit longer and it abrases your waistline. So this is a very, very nice feature. You still have all the nice features that you had with uh, XT Gen 2, uh, the little uh, teeth grab, so you, it's easier for your, you to open the upper pocket uh, and everything else. Let's move along to our Striker XT Gen 3 combat pants. At the first glance, they're not really that different from our XT Gen 2 pants. But believe me, there are a lot of innovation and thought went into these pants. The first thing probably that stands out the most is our waist flex system. Uh, with our integrated uh, underbelt that's fully functional, it will keep your pants on your waistline all the time. Down, first thing is, as you can see, there's no utility pocket uh, on the front. 
Don't worry, it's still there. We just moved it to the back. Let me twist it around for you. So now it's here with an extra safety loop, which you can secure whatever you're putting in, in your pocket, you can secure it. The one standout thing is, hopefully you can see it here, is the knee protection adjustment, which you can adjust it vertically. It has five increments of one centimeter and it just helps you customize and get even a better fit of your knee protection right exactly where you need it. You adjust it once and you don't have to adjust it again, but it's there for your convenience. Here you can see uh, a couple of more of our jackets, but here's a configuration, let's say, that there's displayed uh, for a normal everyday police officer uh, with our Hunter full zipper Gen 2 jacket, soft shell jacket. Uh, it's water repellent. It will keep you out of. The, it will keep you dry from a uh, drizzle or a really light rain. It's uh, windproof. Here you can see our Delta Compact uh, winter jacket. The standout feature of this jacket is it packs into a really really small uh, pack. It's like yay big which, by the way, can double up as your uh, pillow. Uh, if you're out in the woods, water repellent, windproof material with a very high uh, zip line, so you can cover half of your face. As you can see here that we were talking before is that hood harness system, which will make the hood move regardless of uh, how high you have it zipped up. Moving along is our Delta OL 4.0 range. Here you can see our insulated pants, winter pants, and our jacket. Let's stick with the pants first. Standout feature, stretch material. Delta OL, really for extreme colds. A very good jacket. Water repellent, uh, windproof face fabric fleece lined uh, pockets so they keep you warm even if you uh, forgot your gloves as always our hood harness in your hood and last but not least is our uh, rain uh, our monsoon range which is comprised of a monsoon xt gen 2 rain jacket and monsoon xt rain pants Vortex material throughout, hood harness as always, pants with two cargo pockets, which you can use per your preference, side zippers, and probably the thing that you don't see quite often is this uh, extension at the end, uh, which to some extent will prevent water penetrating in, inside your boots, uh, at least for some time, and uh, keep you dry and comfortable. Well, this is it. This is everything that you can see here at our display booth at Chacho. It's real nice talking to you. Have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll definitely answer them.